Hi, Matthew with the F Class Community Channel, bringing you a further update to the McMillan XIT stock. I just wanted to further update you guys in terms of going through the process of deciding if I want to bid this stock or not. I have been doing a lot of testing, load, uh, about 100 rounds of load development with this rifle. And I did take it to the Westerns to test fire a load, and the load seems to be holding about half a minute, so it needs some work, maybe a seating depth test. However, prior to leaving for the Western Championships, I pulled the action out of the stock uh, just to see how the bedding area was doing. And what I did find was that there was a little bit of shavings from the rub marks from the pillars uh, rubbing on the action. The other thing that I found was uh, the, there was a little bit of uh, cleaning fluid that leaked through the front action hole. So you have, even though I used a bore guide with the, the O-rings, it still leaked a little bit. So you have to be wary about fluids and stuff getting into your action and into the stock and staining your stock. However, the biggest thing that I found was that within the stock, and hopefully you can see it here and there's not too much shadow, and I'll try to focus in it, it in for you, is that the recoil area with this edge fill has developed a fracture or a, stre a stress fracture or hairline crack right along the recoil lug area. Now, as you guys have probably read on the McMillan website, the edge fill is supposed to be Space Age technology, technology that they used on the shuttle, uh, and that it is very strong. So, with those kind of claims, when I opened the stock, I did not expect to see a crack forming. And this crack was not there before, and you can definitely tell that it is a, st a stress fracture of some sort that when the recoil lug is bearing against this recoil area, this recess, that it is definitely hammering it and separating the bedding material at this location. So that is just a little bit concerning that I will have to do a little bit of a repair to the stock because of that and end up bedding the entire action in order to provide a better recoil support for the recoil area and the action. Not only that, but also to center uh, the barrel in the channel so that there is no pressure points along the barrel channel. So this is a, a better view of the generous recoil lug inlet. Uh, and I just thought I'd update you. I did contact the retailer Gary at Bighorn Sales. And again, Gary came through with inquiring with McMillan about the problem and that McMillan acknowledged the problem in order to address it, they did recommend bedding the area and also grinding this area in order to prevent any further cracking or stress on this recoil area is to grind out that area where the crack is forming and make sure that area is filled in with bedding material. And what, in, because we're in Canada, it's not easy to just ship the stock back to, to McMillan for repairs. Uh, McMillan, uh, what Gary has made arrangements uh, to do is to provide the bedding material to the cost of McMillan. So Gary sent me a bedding kit is for repairing this damage and also to bed this stock area. Again, Gary, thank you so much from Bighorn Sales. Uh, always top class in terms of dealing with and addressing issues that a customer has. So uh, again, thumbs up to Gary for resolving this issue and this concern. What I will do next is um, I will do a video, guys, of me uh, fixing this little area and providing a skim bed 
for for this uh, action. Uh, what I will do is I don't want to bed all the way up to the very top of the stock. I'm going to leave some some material. I may I may only want like maybe an eighth of an inch, uh, eighth of an inch. Uh, or even maybe a quarter inch high in terms of where the bedding material uh, we will, will go up to. And also support the rear tang, uh, the rear tang area so that provides more recoil area surface for the action and not stress out this area so much because there's this is this whole area is very structural, it's very stiff with the shell of the stock. So Matthew with F Class Humane Channel, I just wanted to show you what is going on and what the next steps are in order to remedy uh, this little issue with the McMillan XIT stock. And this may be only, again, this may only be indicative of the edge fill. Ed, the edge fill is still fairly new technology. Uh, maybe the other fills will not do the same. And like I said, again, uh, betting the action, I think, is really dependent upon the action itself and also uh, uh, what looks like maybe the stock material. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Matthew with F Classic Main Channel. Remember to keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.